Well, hello, Delta Hi. Goodrum, you big babe. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? So good. Are they sunflowers? How heavenly. I just put them in there to give a little bit of a little bit of light over here. Oh, yeah. Um, talk to me about the single and um, who you wrote it with and when you wrote it. Was it a pre-COVID? Was it a COVID? And tell me the story because there's obviously there's so much heart in this song. Thanks, Ash. Yeah, no, I, you know what? I wrote it, uh, I think it was a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago. Um, about something that I went through that was super personal and and super um, a real reset in my life that um, basically stopped all my plans and just sort of went, okay, that that lyric of all of my plans have been silenced overnight, all that I know is paralysed. And then when this, this chapter of life for all of us, which has been so, such a, so, so much, so heavy that I, when, when I listened back to the lyrics, it's kind of like we all took a double take and thought, I did. I, did I write? I didn't write this about this yeah, moment. I, it says like, like I take it here. You know, reset the clocks. I was like, am I a psychic? <laughs> so cool. But um, you know, that's where you sort of the language of music. You think to yourself, well, when you do write about a personal experience and you send it out into the world, that you think, well, maybe somebody will be feeling it. But this feels like it's definitely um, got an element of what's happening right now. And so that's been a, that's been an interesting sort of um, uh, like connection to the song. Yeah, and I imagine I said like I saw on your Instagram because you you were doing an acoustic performance and you said how your living room has been kind of filled with strings and different sounds. That must be. I mean, it's it's so different now. Like the way we make music, the way we perform. Like usually, I'd imagine you'd be in some chic studio with like lighting, hair and makeup, and costumes, and all that's been stripped away. How has that been for you? Well, it's normally you wouldn't have to, obviously, uh, you'd walk into a, a studio, even like yourself, like you're going through, okay, I'm doing my Zoom call. I'm being the DJ from home. It's We're really moving into a new era and it's the same yeah. for, for music. It's that all of a sudden, like making the first video, for example, when Global Citizen came to me, you know, and said, oh, you know, to make this home video, I'd never made these videos from my <laughs> home. I wasn't exactly... I've always been like a working, like sort of jumping into different spaces and, yeah. and all of a sudden I'm going, well, I, I guess the living room, I guess I could, I could put the camera here and my phone here and, and then the sound, and finding, you know, so it's really, it really is um, filming a lot from home. That's what we got to do right now as well to, to look after each other yeah. and so find. We don't need all this peripheral stuff. Like we think everything has totally. to be like high quality looks amazing sound amazing but i think the power of music is such the good song is a good song and audiences that's all they want and i've i've really loved that you know i kind of even said in making the new music i was like i just want people to be in the living room with when i'm um when i'm making the music yeah good on you Dal. we're so happy that you're doing it because we love you obviously <laughs> and um thanks for making time yeah. from your home with your beautiful sunflowers to chat with us on this thank you, thank you. And, um, Thank you for inviting me to your space too oh, there. Oh, well, I love you. Uh, take care of yourself and hopefully I'll see you in real life soon. Love you, beautiful. Look after yourself. Thanks, guys.